I'm joined now by Canada's number one fundraising auctioneer, Danny Hooper. Danny, thank you so much for joining the program. We're here uh, earlier this weekend at the Sirens and Sapphires Gala, uh, an event you've uh, obviously embraced quite a bit. Well, I certainly have. Uh, I love this event. This is the fifth annual and an exceptionally big night here tonight, an important night. We're celebrating the 35th anniversary of the Lloydminster Rescue Squad, uh, which is a real unique organization. I do fundraising auctioneers every year all across North America, and I've worked for every kind of organization. I've been doing this since 1987. Uh, strictly fundraising auctions. Josh, I've never sold a cow. I've never sold a car or a farm sale or an antique sale. Strictly fundraising auctions. So I think after this many years, I've pretty much seen it all from the smallest little church groups and school groups and sport teams on up to National Football League as a client and and David Foster Foundation and, and so I really recognize a good event when I see one this is great they've been sold out already they have a capacity crowd tonight they sold out a couple of weeks ago sponsorship is up this year and that's always indicative that you've got a good solid committee organizing your event not afraid to get out there and develop relationships in the community which these people have done an excellent job of. Well, many people who are from this area have seen you before, seen your work, and may know some of your history. For those who don't know, kind of how did you get into the uh, auctioneering gig and the public speaking gig, per se? Well, it's a good question, uh, kind of a roundabout way. You know, I think the good Lord gives everybody uh, some kind of unique gift or talent. And I think in my case, I, I was blessed with a, um, a sense of humor. You know, I grew up in a very, very funny home. Uh, I was born in Edmonton, raised on a cattle ranch in Tomahawk, and started my entertaining career as a country music singer uh, back in 1975. And, and so I spent a lot of nights back when you could entertain six nights a week, and every little town had a bar with a band. And I was on the road 48, 49 weeks a year, just learning to be an entertainer. And because a lot of those towns are pretty rough and tumble back, in that time you had to lean on that sense of humor to learn how to navigate your way through just about any kind of an audience and uh, in 1987 I, I, have, I have an uncle that is an auctioneer in 1987 he was going to do a Ducks Unlimited auction brought me along to tell some jokes and kind of entertain everybody and halfway through the auction he said why don't you try selling this print and I didn't know how to auction but I got up and bumbled my way through it had people laughing and got a lot of money for the print and he said, you know, you should think of uh, developing this up as a career, as a fundraising auctioneer. So it's been, uh, it's been a wild ride. It's been a lot of fun. It's, it's just the coolest job in the world. And I asked you off camera here, what was your kind of favorite sort of gig to do or favorite vibe you get from an audience but as you said you've done so many different groups that it's hard to pick one I guess. It is hard to pick one you know as I say I've worked with the smallest little church groups, uh, school groups, sport teams uh, on up to the huge huge the massive galas and uh, they all have something unique to offer you need to be very adaptive in, in your style working with different crowds and you have to watch the humor you know what's going to work at a guy's stag golf tournament is not going to work at a hospital foundation gala or something. Understandable. Understandable. I found that out the hard way a time or two. But uh, I've had some uh, high water marks for sure. You know, I was doing uh, an auction for the David Foster Foundation in Toronto a few years ago, and Andrea Bocelli uh, was the entertainer that night. And he donated two seats on his private jet to fly to Florence, Italy, to stay with he and his wife in their home for four nights. Sounds like a great evening. It was wild, and that sold for hundred grand. I did an auction up in uh, Cold Lake for Stars Air Ambulance, and the local town doctor donated a painless vasectomy. And that sold for $3,800. I'm assuming to a guy not from Alberta. He didn't know you could get that done for free in Alberta. So, you know, you see it all. It's been a ton of fun. I was doing a little church auction one night. The parish priest donated, uh, uh, he called it a pew with a view, guaranteed front row seating, midnight mass, Christmas Eve for a family of four. You know, that sold for 3000 bucks. So uh, it's important in this business. You need to know how to entertain people and engage them, hold their attention, and then be able to extract the money.